gotta set something straight right here, Super Players. It's your homie C Rod, and I want to talk about one of the most craziest things that has happened in Dragon Ball Super Card Game, which is the skyrocket prices of some of these booster boxes. Oh my god. Some of these booster boxes cost a ridiculous amount of money. And with the newest set, Vicious Rejuvenation, I really wanted to have a little discussion on this. So definitely let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on the newest Vicious Rejuvenation set. We did make a box opening or we haven't made a box opening depending if we get the box before this video is released or not but i'm trying to figure out will this box be able to stand up to the heights in the long term to the heights of the other boxes that have been released by bandai and there's some boxes that are some crazy ridiculous prices like when i say crazy ridiculous i mean you're gonna be dropping a grand for a box i know i know some of you guys out there are probably like hey c rod or typing in the chat this is nothing compared to magic the gathering or this is nothing compared to pokemon obviously because those games are old and they've been around for many many years dragon ball super card game is not the oldest and it's not the newest it's going into its fifth year if i'm not mistaken it came out 2017 so we are getting there to the heavyweight in the in the card game industry you know if it surpasses 10 years uh let me know in the comment section below if you think this game is gonna withhold itself in the test of time will it survive in the long term um but if it does survive some of these boxes are gonna go up and up and up in price and if you are smart about it or if you are risky about it with this new like booster box coming out vicious rejuvenation you could decide to do multiple things and you could decide to obviously number one open the box which i obviously love doing and i'm pretty sure you right there in the camera love opening up boxes or are you a collector and are you gonna leave that box sealed up to collect and hopefully in the future that box cost a lot of money and just a quick example of what i'm talking about check this box out right here you see this we got the universal onslaught i bought it for 85 dollars look at this box 85 bucks it's perfectly sealed look it has the bandai seal of approval i haven't opened it i could potentially even have the apex of power in here which is the money card and what makes this box so expensive and this box i bought it i actually bought a case of this and we opened up every single box except for this one right here that i managed to keep well actually i bought this separately from the case just to collect and this box right here cost right now if you were to check on tcg player i'll show you right now how much it cost check that out you see that guys you see that people you see that super players that is a money box who would have known i had 700 dollars right here on my shoulder but i do good investment i bought it for 70 bucks or 80 bucks and now i got a great return on this small investment dragon ball super card game is a game you definitely want to invest in especially for collectors if you're a collector you're definitely gonna want to invest in this game and i noticed that the money in this game is in collecting some of the rarest oldest booster boxes that are actually 
awesome because of the secret rare that comes in it. So another booster box that's actually very, very expensive happens to be the Destroyer's Kings. And in that booster box, you get that awesome secret rare, which is the Super Saiyan 3 Agent of Destruction Broly, which is not only a amazing looking card, it's also extremely powerful in the Broly deck. And it's like peanut butter jelly. You need to have that card in your Broly deck if you want to really kill with the Broly deck. And that box right there is costing $500. And that right there is pretty darn crazy considering the fact like I think six months ago, I remember going to my local card shop and they had them for $40, I think. And I'm not sure if they updated their prices, but I went and they were sold out and you cannot find these anywhere. But $500 for one. And that's where I'm getting at here. Is the newest set, Vicious Rejuvenation, gonna be standing to the prices of these cards? Will they be as pricey as these boxes from the past? Will it? I don't know. That's why I want you in the comment section below to let me know if these prices are gonna go up and up. And is vicious rejuvenation gonna be one of the boxes that goes up and up in price as time goes on and that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about in this video i have made several good investments when it came to dragon ball super card game because i have genuinely uh looked for the boxes that i thought go would cost a lot in the future and uh the best box that i i actually have sealed is this one um it's not even the most expensive one the most expensive one guys is the tournament of power because of the tournament of power hype that is one of the most expensive ones and if you don't know i'll show you how much that box costs now so that box right now is costing $5,000, give or take, like around $4,000 and $5,000 for one of those boxes. Wow, that must be, that's just crazy. I can't even say anything about it. That's just so darn crazy. And this is not the only listing, guys. There's multiple listings of $5,000. And we even got Pro Play Games here selling some for five thousand dollars so that is the price that you're going to be getting at your local card shops and all over the internet now i really want to invest in this vicious rejuvenation and i really want to keep a sealed box and give or take if it goes up if vicious rejuvenation goes up well pat on the back for me and everybody else that actually never opened that box and if it doesn't go up well at least you got a cool background like me. I got this, uh, you know, box right there in the background. It doesn't hurt. It only cost around $70, I think. As you guys can see, uh, Vicious Rejuvenation Booster Box is going to be costing around $70, maybe $75. That's usually how much a booster box costs when it comes out. The whole point of this video was to get your opinion, so make sure to comment in the comment section below and let me know and let everybody else know your thoughts. Will Vicious Rejuvenation reach the power and the ultimate expensiveness of those previous boxes? I can almost guarantee it's not going to reach the height of the Tournament of Power, but it could potentially be pretty high up there maybe get to the 300 mark in the late future and these boxes are collectors guys so uh definitely try to get your boxes and try not to open them it's gonna be very hard but it's doable so that's gonna be the end of the video hopefully you like this video subscribe if you are new here you know hit that subscribe button make sure to comment and let me know your thoughts on these crazy boxes and is Vicious Rejuvenation gonna be one of these type of expensive boxes in the future. And hopefully you liked it. If you did, leave me a like. And if you didn't, well, hit me a thumb down 
and you won't get my videos recommended. <laughs> so I'm ending like that. Subscribe and like I always say, y'all stay super.